Hi everybody, today I will show you how to style WP forms in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to have is to install the WP forms. Okay, so I have already installed this, but if you wanted to install this, you can simply go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And from here, you can install WP form. Okay, alright, so you can see this we have the WP form here. So we have already installed this, but we have the update now. So I'm going to simply update this. All right, so after installing the WP form, so now to style our WP form, we need to install another plugin that is basically essential add-ons. So you can see this, we have to install the essential add-ons for the Elementor. All right, so if I just update this, now we have to go inside the install plugins because we have to activate both of them. So I think the plugins are already activated, but let's see. Okay, so we have the WP form is activated and we also have the essential add-ons for the Elementor. So since the plugins were already installed, that is why both of the plugins are activated. Alright, so now what we need to do, first thing that I need to do is to go inside the WP form. Alright, so let's just close this. And now I will just simply create a new form here really quickly. So let's click on add new form. Alright, so you can see here that we have the different templates here for our form. So we can choose the blank form if you wanted to create the form from the scratch. And we also have the simple contact form, newsletter, sign up form, auto mobile information form. And you can also see the other options here. So we have the bunch of different templates. So right now I'm going to simply go here with the simple contact form. I will use this template because we are focusing here on the styling of the form, not to create the form. Okay. So we'll simply go here with this form. All right, so you can see this, we have our simple contact form. So we have the name into it. We have the email, we have the comments or the messages. So let's just change the label here. So this would be the message only. And we can also make this a required field. But right now we're gonna simply keep all the things as default. Okay, so let's save this. And I will simply close the WP forms builder because we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, so now you can see this, we have our simple contact form. So I'll just simply copy the short code from here and let's just go inside the pages and click on all pages. All right. So as you can see here, we have the bunch of different pages. So I'm going to simply create a new page for the contact us. So let's click on add new page. All right. So let's just write down the name of the page. So that would be contact us. So let's click on publish. Now let's click on edit with Elementor. All right. So if I just write down WP form here, you will be able to see the two WP forms. So the first one is by the essential add-ons that we have installed and the second one is by the official WP form. Okay, so if you try to use the official WP form, one thing that you will see here that it doesn't have the, a lot of customization option. So you only have the form and then you only have the display option. That's it. Okay, so that is why we'll go with the WP form by the essential add-ons. Okay, so let's just delete this. And now let's write down WP form again. And if I just drag this and put this here. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do, I have to select our simple contact form. All right, so now you can see here, we can have the custom title and the description that is disabled by default. And after this, we have the title. So if you want to disable the title, you can simply disable this from here. So I would like to disable this. So since I don't have any description, so I would also disable this. And we have the labels and the placeholders. So I would like to have the labels and the placeholders. And after this, we have the option of the errors. So in the errors, we only have a single option error messages. So that has only two values show or hide. All right. And after this, we have the styling option here. So in the styling option, you can see we have the different options here for each section. So we have the styling for the form container, for the title and description, for the labels, for the input in the text areas, field description, placeholder, and you can also see the other options here. All right. So right now what I want to do here as the first thing that I would like to do is to go inside the form container and I would like to change the width of our form container. All right. So I think this is fine. The 500 PX will look better. Okay. So this is looking fine. Now we also have the form alignment. So if I just put this into the center, you will be able to see our form into the center. So you can also align this into right and the left side. So we also have the form margin and the padding. So let's try to add some padding here. So this would be 20 px. Okay, so now I think this is fine. And after this, we have the border radius. 
so the first thing is i have to select the border type so that would be solid and then i can add the border radius so that would be 20 px maybe and and we can also change the border width here so i would go here with the 1 px and the border width and change the color here all right so i think this is looking fine and i can also increase the form padding so let's increase the form padding here i think i would go here with the 50 px okay so this is looking fine all right so we also have the box shadows so if i wanted to have the box shadow i would just simply click here and i can adjust the value and you can see this we are having a box shadow here but right now i'm going to simply disable this or go back to the default value and now i wanted to have the form background color so let's just add the color here so this will be the white color yeah this is looking fine and now after this we have the title in the description so in the title and the description we have the usual things we have the text color typography and the margin in both of the options all right and we also have the alignment so since we don't have the title in the description so we can skip this part and after this we have the label okay so in the labels we have the margin we have the text color and the typography so i'm going to simply try to add some margin here so let's add 10 px or we can skip this part okay all right so i would like to add some margin here but only to the top okay so let's just unlink the values and on the first one i would add 10 px maybe all right so this is looking fine so after this we have the input and the text areas so in the input i would like to change the background color to the bright grayish color all right so i think this is looking better and we can also change the text color here and we have the border color so here i would add the border radius to the 20 px all right so after this we have the border type so i would go here with the none because i don't want to have any border all right and after this we have the text indent we have the input width we have the input height and you can also see the other options here as well and after this we have the field description so in the field description we have the text color typography and the spacing and we have the placeholder and we have the radio button and the check so if you wanted to do the custom styling on this you can simply enable this from here okay but right now we don't have anything like this so we can simply disable this from here and in the last we have the submit button so for the submit button i would go here with the 100 percent width all right so now this is looking better and i can also change the color of it like the background color but i think it is looking fine because it is matching with the theme of our uh, website all right so we have the margin top so let's try to add some margin top i think this is fine and we have the typography and the box shadow and in the last we have the errors so if you wanted to add the text color of the error and also the input border color you can simply do this from here okay so that is how we can style our wp form so the one thing that i need to do here is to add some spacing here so let's go into the advanced setting okay so i think i will need to click on the container not on our form so on our main container i just go into the advanced setting and add some padding here so this will be maybe 50 px yes this is looking better or maybe we can go here with 90 all right so you can adjust the spacing as per your need so let's update this and click on the pv changes all right so we need to add the spacing at the bottom as well so let's go back and add the spacing at the bottom now this is looking fine update this go back and now you'll be able to see the spacing at the bottom side of our form as well all right so this is how we can style the wb form in the elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel